Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Fog and mist are two of the most ethereal forms of nature, but they're remarkably easy to replicate using just a couple of filters and adjustment layers in Photoshop. In photos with real fog, the further back objects are, the lighter and more desaturated they become. Objects in the foreground are less enveloped with fog, while objects and scenery in the distance may even gradually disappear in a sea of hazy light gray or white. This photo I took recently, but as you can see from the original unretouched version, it wasn't a foggy or misty day at all. I'm going to show you how to add realistic mist and fog to any photo. The size of this document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. It's always a good idea to protect your original layer, so drag it to the new layer icon to make a copy or just press Ctrl J or Command J on a Mac. Click on the adjustment layer icon and choose Hue Saturation. Slide the saturation to minus 100 and the lightness to plus 100. Don't be concerned that the image is totally white. At this point it's supposed to be. Go to the left of your screen and choose your gradient tool. Choose your black to white linear gradient and make sure your linear gradient icon on the left is chosen. Go to the bottom of your image and as you press and hold the shift key drag your mouse or pen straight up to the top of your image. This made a black and white linear gradient to the layer mask. By doing this, it's revealing the bottom of your photo as it's gradually hiding it in a thick mist of desaturated colors as it approaches the top. We're going to paint out some of the fog in the foreground near the bottom of the image. So go to your brush tool and choose a relatively large size brush. You can increase the size of your brush by pressing on the right bracket key. Make sure you have black as your foreground color and just brush back and forth across the bottom to remove more of the layer mask. Let's remove some of the fog from our bushes and grassy areas that are higher in our image but are nevertheless in our foreground. At this point this image looks like a real foggy day but we're going to add another level of realism by adding some mist near the ground. We're going to make a new layer so click on the base copy and click on the new layer icon. Then choose your rectangular marquee tool and click and drag it where you want the mist to be. It's generally close to the ground below the middle. We're going to feather the selection so go to select and refine edge. The refine edge window will open. I'm going to feather it out about 32 pixels. Keep in mind for your image you may want to use a different amount pending the size of your document. Go to filter render and clouds. To get rid of the selection press Control or command D. We're going to change the blending options to get rid of the darker areas of our mist. So go to our mist layer and right click it then choose blending options. The layer style window will open. Go to the blend if area and press alt as you click on the right side of the little black triangle in the this layer slider. Drag the right half of the triangle all the way to the right. Then go to the layers panel and change the blending mode from normal to lighten. Press Control T or Command T on a Mac to call up the transform and go to the top and change the width to 300 percent. We'll make a copy of the mist layer by dragging it to the new layer icon or just press Ctrl J or Command J on a Mac. Press V for your move tool and drag that layer up and move it to another position. Then press Ctrl or Command T for the transform. Then go up and change the width and the height to 40 percent. We're scaling down the mist to make it smaller because we're going to place it further back into the background. Click on the original mist layer to make it active and then press Ctrl or Command J to make a copy. Go to Edit, Transform and then Flip Horizontal. So now we have three layers of mist and two different sizes to move around in place. We need to remove or reduce the fog and mist 
in some of our foreground bushes and grassy areas. Press on the layer mask icon to make a layer mask for our bottom mist. Then press B for your brush and start painting away some of the fog and mist in the foreground objects. We'll repeat this for the middle mist so press on the new layer icon and continue to paint away the areas of fog and mist. It's important not to completely paint them away since they're many feet away from where we're standing in the photo. The rule of thumb is if an object is in the foreground no matter how high it goes, remove some of the fog or mist from it. And remember, the further back images are in the photo, the lighter they should be. Here is our final foggy, misty scene. By using the simple methods in this video, you can have fun creating some atmosphere in what might be an otherwise boring photo. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.